Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. Today marks the start of a beautiful streak and apparently I randomised Eve at some point. I don't think I did, little randomizer. but okay. It randomised Eve again. <laughs> okay, I guess it's going to be one of those days. I guess it's going to be one of those days. Right, let's go as Evie Evie. Eve's kind of a, she's kind of a tough nut. I feel like, um, for me especially, she's one of those characters that... Can be a little tricky. Uh, we get ourselves a glitched heart off the bat. Do you know what? I was going to say not terrible. This is kind of terrible. Uh, because we're not... It's, it's going to fill up the red heart no matter what. But we can at least do this to uh, get out for free, which is nice. Also, um, I think there's been an update. Let me actually go and uh, quickly make sure of this. But it looks like there's been an update to the backdrops mod, which uh, actually looks pretty nice. It's, it's always... Um, a little funky to whether it's actually an update, like if something's actually changed, or if um, if there's some weird like mod conflict that I didn't realise. But it does seem like it's been updated. It, it has been updated recently. Um, and new burning basements, there you go. Cool, awesome. Yeah, this looks really good. I really like the uh, visuals. It's quite different than the, than the base game. I like that a lot. But yeah, um, with our newfound soul hearts, we're um, going to be in a pretty good spot for Eve, to be honest. And also, uh, another update to a mod, the Repentance Plus mod got an update and added two new hearts. Uh, the, I think it's Curdle Heart and Savage Heart. The Curdle Heart is the Tainted Eve Heart, which is basically just a heart that gives you a clot on pickup. I don't even know if I want Tonsil Stones. I'll take them because they're not, not bad, but they're not great. Like, visually, they're a bit glitchy. Um... But also, yeah, the, there's another one called a Savage Heart, which is the um, one themed around, of course, uh, Tented Samson, that when you pick it up, it gives you a, a small damage increase like Red Stew that, that, like, deteriorates over time. So finding either one of those should be pretty cool. Um, I'll pick up this heart just to, like, use it for uh, damage in a room. In fact, I might even... If I, can, if I can manage it, I might even save it for the boss. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Okay, let's check this out. But yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of this Burning Basement one. It looks... I don't know. It looks a lot more, like, fitting and on theme than um, than the vanilla version does. I like it a lot. I, do, I, I did see there were some other patch notes as well. I don't know if the mod is, is planned to get a lot of changes and updates, but so far, I'm pretty happy with the ones that, that have been put forward. Right. Well, this room determines whether I use my uh, razor or not, and honestly, this room is easy enough. Yeah, as you can see, the tonsil's visual effect is just very janky. It just doesn't quite look right. But, do you know what? They're kind of cool anyways. They're kind of like better bugger tiers, in a way. Um, oh, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't specifically say better, but they're like bugger tiers. So yeah, we'll use this in this room, which will give us a nice damage boost. We just gotta, like, not get hit, because... <laughs> That'd be pretty devastating for us right now. We should be able to pretty, I guess, pretty easily kill the heads that he spawns, though. Which is always rather nice. We get a burn hat, and we get ordinary life. Oh, this is this is very good. This is very good. Uh, we're, we're just going blue baby here. Um, I will open that up and just see if there's anything in here. There is at least a palty. There's double palties. But one of these pots. Ah, oh, I was gonna say one of these pots will give me some stuff. Ooh, pill. I found pills and ate them, okay. Uh, secret room is reasonably obvious. I say that now, slightly regretting saying that. But yes, what are we going to do for the question of the day today? I don't actually have one planned. Let's... Uh, this this, this is very possibly one that I've asked before. It just feels like I may have asked it before already. But, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask it again nonetheless. Uh, do, 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 do. Sun card better... Or moon card. I'll rather take the moon card. Um, yeah. So, this is one that I may have possibly asked before. And if I have asked it before, then you ask. Basically, this this is going to be my policy. If I ever accidentally repeat myself for the question of the day, instead of answering that, just let me know that I asked it before. But instead of answering it, instead ask me a question. And the question for today is, what's your what's what's the best experience you've ever had at like a restaurant eating out? What's like the most memorable, vivid, this food is amazing experience you've ever had? The only re the only reason I say I think I might have said this before. Ooh, hello. Um, I think Mom's Perfume's actually the best one out of these, you know? Uh, just because of that fire rate increase. 
Um, I'll also double take these pills, and I'm excited. Cyanide. It's not good. Cyanide is very good, though. I like cyanide. Um, which is a weird sentence to say, but I do. Uh, but yeah, the only reason I say I think I've told it before is because I remember telling the story of, like, that, um, amazing chicken pie I had once. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, I have to, this is bullshit. I have to uh, hurt myself to get out. That's not, not good. I didn't have a bomb to escape, so. But yeah, that's the only reason I think I might have told it before. I might not have done. I might be completely misremembering, like, unrelated story sort of thing. But either way, but yeah, like, what's what's been your one sort of true, like, standout, memorable sort of restaurant or eating out experience. E even further than that, like, what's just your favourite, like, memory of eating out anyway? Even if it's just, like, a friend's house, like a, f like a friend's mum cooks you dinner once and it was, like, the best food you've ever eaten or something. I do remember once in, uh, in university, I, uh, I made friends with someone that, um, I mean, I, this, this sounds really, like, sad and lonely, but I didn't make friends. That's not something I did. Um, <laughs> I, I wasn't, I, oh, for fuck's sake, this is going to be terrible. Uh, I wasn't the sort of person that went out my way to meet new people. I went to university with a friend, and I basically stayed friends with that one person throughout the entirety of university. So it wasn't super common. Ooh, Golden Flakes. I don't know if Golden Flakes will even work on my charged penny, but I'll goldify it anyways. Oh, good, a Golden Troll Bomb. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm going to take Duality. Just to get myself locked into um, into permanent horror Babylon. But yeah, uh, I remember I, I made a friend for, through university and like one day I went to, like, I, went, I went to a house like while we were just studying some stuff with a few friends and she made, um, she made like this mushroom sort of carbonara style uh, pasta dish. It wasn't, it wasn't carbonara, it was something else, but my god, it was like one of the best pasta dishes I've ever had in my life. And I've never been able to recreate anything even close to as good as it was, and it, and it saddens me. Especially considering I'm not friends with that person anymore, because of reasons. <laughs> um, I, I, think I, I think I'm going to try and find second secret room this time around. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to give any names away, but that was, that was a whole strange strange story i made friends with this person during university hey i'm gonna have one more try at this okay thank god um we should hopefully drop us some stuff right come on yeah okay that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff unfortunately none of this is great apart from the soul of isaac everything else is a bit dookie um but yeah i made friends with this person was very good friends with them for a while and then my friend started kind of dating them. They weren't really dating. They were just seeing each other. And she would go behind... This is very much my friend. She would go behind my friend's back to bitch about them to me. And I didn't actually know they were dating or whatnot kind of dating. So essentially, she was on one hand complaining about them all the time to me but on the other hand sleeping with them and i was just like so why why are you just lying to me then <laughs> like basically all you've done there is kind of bitched to me about my friend and lied to me <laughs> so why would i want to be friends with you anymore anyways let's carry on dunce cap i think this is definitely a, a soul of isaac sort of sort of shtick isn't it the wafer. I think we'll be taking the wafer, thank you. I think we'll be taking the wafer. Yeah, I don't actually know if the if the golden charge penny actually gains any additional effect from being golden. In fact, we could drop it and find out. I'd guess not. Okay, actually, 17% chance to charge um, when you pick up a coin. I'm guessing the golden version doubles that 17% chance, or at least I think it, 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 does, it does. Unless the base chance is half of 17 and 17 is the new chance with it being gold, but I don't think that's the case. Either way, good stuff. Um, we're, we're, in a, we're in a position now with our health where we can really kind of chill out a little bit. Um, obviously, our health isn't good, but in, more so what I mean is we don't have to worry about trying to stay in Horror of Babylon because we're just going to be in it forever. Um, unless we gain a lot of HP all of a sudden. Okay, honestly, the tonsils are wrecking this dude. You see what I mean by the tonsils just being a bit wacky? They just visually, they look a bit weird. They... 
they layer pretty like in a pretty strange way. They don't quite look right. The, the tonsil being made, like not aligned with the center of the poison circle is also really off-putting. It's just all sorts of weird. It's a very good deal right there. <laughs> That's just what we call a good deal. But yeah, hopefully we can get a replacement active item reasonably soon. Because uh, obviously at the minute the razor is completely useless to us. Let's let's make a let's make a little bet or a little a little sort of hopeful hopeful uh, prediction. I want urn of souls from from my next my next devil deal that I get. I'll instead use duality to go into the angel deal, and it will give me urn of souls as a replacement for my current active. That is my prediction for this run. Also, this is a very hard rune. These ghost guys die pretty quick, but they're still particularly quite difficult to deal with. We're, we're taking all the pills today. I don't I don't really know why today of all days I feel like taking pills, but I just do. It's not something you should be saying in real life. If you're saying that in real life, seek medical help. Goddamn. Yeah, I'm having a I'm having a reasonably good day today. Unfortunately, I'm a I'm a I'm a little I'm a little sad a little bit of a sad boy because uh, my my girlfriend uh, who who I live with has uh, gone away for a week. Um, ooh, read stuff machine, very nice. Uh, she's gone away for a week to France to do some filming. She's a camera operator for uh, she does a lot of sports and she's uh, filming some of the French rugby teams at the minute. Which obviously it's 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 nice to have a week on my own but at the same time it isn't it also isn't <laughs> it's like it's nice to get a week to myself but at the same time i don't really need a week to myself like i i work from home and she doesn't so i get most of the most of the like the during the day to myself anyways so yeah, it's just kind of a bummer but but there is there is at least one positive caveat um because i have a week of like no one else in the house I can do some streaming, finally. I've been waiting to get back into streaming for a little while. I've not really been waiting for anything in particular. It's not like my girlfriend doesn't like me streaming or anything. Um, it really doesn't make much of a difference whatsoever. But now it's just kind of a good excuse to, to actually get back into it. Because, for one, I really enjoy it. And for two, other people quite enjoy it. Especially the GTA 5 Chaos streams, which is what I'm going to be doing um, when I stream later on today. Obviously, it won't be today for you guys, but... When, when I stream later on today, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm quite looking forward to it. It's been a good while since I've uh, since I've partake, partaken. Oh god, I mean, it was nice to get all of that. Oh god, we're gonna die, aren't we? Oh, oh, cyanide. Cyanide. I I had to use it. I, there was a very strong possibility that cyanide pill could have killed me. Basically, the the one thing that was making me think now nah, I'll be fine is Hedroff wouldn't do this, would he? He wouldn't make a pill that can kill you. No other pills in the game can kill you. So I was like, just do it. Just hope, hope it gives you a black heart. Because if it, if it took away a red heart, then gave a black heart, it would just straight up kill me. And I was like, I have a rotten heart as well. So does that does that change how this is gonna is gonna work? I don't know. We almost actually no, we do have enough for a, a, a shop purchase. But I'm actually more inclined to utilize our restock machine um, for some goodies. And use our money to, to do some re-rolling. And I think... Divorce Papers is pretty good. But I, I, I do think we're in a situation here where we can get better. So I'm going to go for it. I'm going to I'm gonna roll. I, th these are two good items. I'm, I'm going to roll a Kidney Stone. I really like Kidney Stone. It's kind of weird that we got Kidney Stone and Lead Pencil. I always feel like those two items are kind of one in the same obviously they're very different in terms of functionality but they feel very similar because it's like a sort of build up to a big load of shots so i will quickly check this out champion bell is definitely something that i would like to buy oof oof that is the lowest amount of money i've ever had from a donation machine but oh picking up an item triggered kidney stone i was saving that but we've now got Kidney Stone plus Tonsil. Was it, is it called Tonsil Stones? I kind of have to check now. Because if we've got Kidney Stone plus Tonsil Stone, that's kind of funny. Yeah, we do. <laughs> We're just full of stones. Now we need, like, uh, Small Rock. Stuff like that. Get get the full-on 
stone stone build going right. I know this is boring, but I'm just going to charge up and get ready my uh, kidney stone because it just melts bosses. <laughs> it's so good. Um, we, I'm not going to take placenta yet. I'm going to check my angel deal. Get seven seals. I'm pretty happy about that. Do you know what as well? I think uh, I think we should we should blow up our uh, angel statue here. Just because it's like a an easy kill. Uh, why not? And then it's like, I, do you know what? I'll take it because we still got the razor. If we didn't have the oh wait, I did not know the razor plus the wafer had a. Had a synergy. That's kind of interesting. Anyways, let's make our way down. Health is still... It's leaving a lot to be desired, I gotta say. Yeah, the health is leaving a lot to be desired for us right now. We are not in a great spot. We got Temperance... Ooh, and a Stars card. Stars is always fun. Um, I think it would remove Tonsil uh, Stone... But I think I'm... I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> I apologise to Tonsil Stone, but... As much as cool as it is, and as and honestly as as strong as it's being right now, secret room items, secret room items are the way to go. So we'll grab the stars card. I love the fact that they made like a lot of the reverse cards like kind of rare, but like real heckin' cool or strong. Right. So this is good actually, because now we can moon here, which I thought it would be here. Then we can go back through here. I have to kill some enemies first. Really liking Seven Seals as well, by the way. That Seven Seals is doing a great job for us right now. Hey, we got a Cell Heart. Unfortunately, though, that'll just heal us right now because we're not on full HP. So let's wait on that. Let's not pick that up yet. And we can pop this in here. And... Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to leave those there for now in the hope that we get a reroll. It's very unlikely. But I do think we can do better than both of those items. Mum's wig's pretty good for us. I'll take Mum's wig. Yeah, I do think we can do better than both of those. So right now, I'm not that interested in picking up either of those. Oh, God. I did not see that mask there at all. I, I, that, I goddamn hate these masks. <laughs> these have to be, like, some of the most detested enemies in the entire game. Right, so now we can pick this up, and it'll actually give us some Eve clots. And get ourselves back into Horror Babylon as well. Hey, the Eve Clot's even update from when we were in Horror Babylon. Like, I, I was expecting them to just stay like normal Eve, but if you look at them, they're actually, they've, they've gone full black. Really, I should have saved using, um, using my Razor. Nice one. I should have saved using my Razor to get into that, um, what's it called? Cash Room. We've got a Rainbow Dude here. He could give us some good stuff. This, this guy could give us that reroll. Wait, what? Why the heck? Did it not drop anything? Smelter. It costs us a soul heart. I don't really think that's something we want right now. This is a bad room. I'm kind of hoping on Kidney Stone to help me through this one. Oh, Kidney Stone, come on, proc. There you go. Okay, it's looking less and less likely that we're gonna get a reroll here. Okay, we just we just got a red heart actually, so now we can uh, take a dip. Nice. Us using the razor like that is it always makes me feel big brained, even though it's like not even that complicated or even unique of a of a play. Like, it's something that most people could figure out pretty easily. Whenever you like manage to like circumvent one of the game's rules like that, where it's like, oh, you must take damage going to a cash room. You're like, soik. You still take damage, but taking it on red health, it just makes it feel so much better. Makes you feel like you've outsmarted the game, even though it's very much intentional game design. Or at least I think it is. Like, you'd think so. I'm not actually sure how intentional 
interactions like that are. That's the, one of the things about Isaac in general, is it's such a complicated game with so many interlocking systems that there's so many synergies and interactions that were probably never intended or thought about by the developers that just kind of came to be through the amount of systems interacting together that the game has. Like, one of them that I think I've mentioned before on this uh, on this series that um, Kilburn mentioned on the podcast that will be coming soon, by the way. I do apologize keeping everyone in waiting for it. It might even be out by the time you're watching this. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it's coming very soon. Um, he was talking about how SlayX put out a video. It's either SlayX or, uh, or Isaac Guru. I think it was actually Isaac Guru. Put out a, a video talking about... Um, this really strange interaction with... Yeah, unfortunately, we're not getting a charge here. But uh, this very strange interaction with, like, Magneto plus options plus, um, like, getting glitched items. It was a really weird and convoluted way to get glitched items on the chest and dark room. And it turns out that that was literally... Oh, my God, that fire is insane. Uh, it was actually never intended at all um, when when it was created. It's just like some some weird, like, bizarre interaction because it's something that Kilbear never thought was possible in Isaac and the, the, the users found a way to do it and thus created this method of getting glitched items that shouldn't be possible. I just find that sort of stuff really interesting. Right, down we go. Like... Oh, I, w I did, uh, me and, me and BD1P recorded another episode of the podcast recently, actually. And we were kind of talking about, um, about that. How, like, roguelikes as a genre, did, did they get popular, like, recently just because, sort of, they just kind of, that they, they just kind of got popular because they, kind of like how Battle Royales did, they just kind of, it was the in thing. Or, did they grow in popularity because... Uh, in earlier days, obviously I know the game Rogue itself is what created Rogue Likes as a genre, but like, in the early days when Rogue was a thing that sort of time, it was too daunting to take on a project like a Rogue Like, like it was too, it was too much perceived work to create all these different items and interactions and synergies and paths and enemies that the user won't see every time. It's like... Maybe there was a toss-up of like, is all that effort worth it for content that some users will never see? Whereas now, like, there's a lot of roguelikes that undertake that that immense challenge. Ooh, I'm definitely taking that spacebar item there. Give me that bad boy. Gilded key. I mean, we might as well pick it up for the plus one key, at least. We'll see if we can get ourselves some good, uh, good trinkets here. Okay, now unfortunately we cannot remove red hearts though, so we would really like to trade this one away as soon as possible. But we're getting a lot of champions here. Oh, I was like, we're getting a lot of champions and I remembered we have champion belt. That's kind of the point. Uh, pinky eye unfortunately isn't really for us. Jumper cables, however. Ooh, oh, oh. oh, I love Lost Worm. <laughs> Lost Worm is so dumb and bizarre and silly, but I love it. What's going on with these rooms right now? I'm getting rather confused. Ah, oh, bugger. Whoa! That's a lot of tears, what the fuck? Astral projection just went crazy. But yeah, now we have Spectral and Herming with these really wacky tears, but with our current tier rate, and especially with Kidney Stone, it's so good. Oh my god. I need to stop getting hit, though. I don't even know what hit me then. Oh! One of the bouncy brains jumped out of this guy's head and hit me. God damn it. One makes you small. An egg. An egg. Right. Y'all ready for this? A lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage. We might even make boss rush here, actually. D dude! These stupid heckin' spiders! Heck you! 
They're just silly. Okay, so let's go devil deal here. We've got to be real quick about this. Just try and trade away. Oh, actually, that kind of works out. Yeah, that kind of works out. Whatever. And then we'll have a cheeky check of boss rush. There isn't actually anything here I particularly care about. Yeah, we'll, we'll give that a miss because I was going to I was going to go for it despite our health being low if the item was going to make a significant impact on our run. But I really don't think any of those items would. It's just there's nothing there that super intrigues me. But I think now we've like lost worm. Obviously, we might end up getting a better synergy and I might end up trading out at some point. But right now, with lost worm, we're in a really good spot. Lost worm is one of those one of those trinkets. I think it's almost always bad. Unless you've got a few key things, and one of those key things is very high fire rate. And at a, at a base of 6.34, we have a very high fire rate. <laughs> and then obviously, we, on top of that, we've got something like Kidney Stone that just amplifies that tenfold. So in that in that regard, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty insane. As you can see, it's it's it's, it's kind of it's kind of killing pretty quick here. Health isn't terrible. I always, I'm always a little bit apprehensive on the womb. Even though I, I don't die in the womb ve like very much at all, but I'm always super apprehensive on the womb when I've only got one bar of health or less. That's like a, a big no-no for me. Because a lot, I've, I've heard people, oh, I say heard people. I've seen people in comment sections say like, "Who says he's low on health has like eight hearts?" It's like, yeah, but that is low for me. <laughs> Like, any anything below, like, one or two off full is, like, too low. <laughs> Especially late game when uh, when you're taking more damage. Obviously, th that doesn't really apply here because we have the wafer. Uh, whatever health we have is technically doubled. So, really, my, my worries are um, falling a bit on deaf ears here because I just don't have to worry about our health in the slightest. I mean, obviously, I can't just run into enemies and keep getting hit over and over again. But at the same time, I can take a hell of a lot of hits in the womb without it really impacting the run too badly. I just gotta not be stupid about it, really. I just gotta not be an idiot, which, for me, is tough. Anyone will know. Not being an idiot, for me, is not the easiest of tasks. But let's pretend that I'm a normal, functioning human being with the ability to process information like a normal human being. Ooh, Red Penny though. Red Red Penny, I, I feel like Red Penny has the potential to be super good and super wacky, but it doesn't proc often enough, which is a damn good thing because that like, that's a super strong trinket. It should not it should not be procking very often at all. But I think Hermie and Spectral is a little more important to us right now. Even if its effect can't be doubled. Also, Astral Projection is going to mean that we can only ever get hit once per room, really. Because our second hit gets negated. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess we grab this. Ooh. Ah, oh, I was really hoping that would give us like a massive fire rate boost, but it didn't. So, oh, because we have red hearts, of course. Uh, so, sensors are great here. Um, I'll crack these bad boys open a little bit as well and see what we get. Scratch it. Unfortunately, both of those are over. Yeah, if, if we'd have managed to have no red heart containers, if I'd have popped that early, I should have gone to Devil Deal. And yeah, that would have been crazy. We'd have been going up to like seven tiers there, maybe a little higher. But this is this is one of those runs that's kind of like, it's not got anything crazy going on. It's quite cut and dry. But it's just, it's one of those, it's one of those confidence booster runs. Especially when you've like beaten the game and you're doing streaking. Especially if you've just lost a pretty decent streak. Sometimes you need just one of these confidence booster runs where there's nothing crazy wacky going on. There's no, there's no like crazy synergy. The run's not that hard. It's not, I wouldn't say it's not super easy. This is pretty, pretty damn easy. Uh, but so, sometimes you need these runs. Also, these runs are just kind of perfect for commentary. The, they really allow you to kind of get into a bit of a bit of a chilled. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. I really wish I could hold more than one trinket right now because I'd love to grab that. Yeah, it's just nice. Just nice. And now I can um, 
I can talk about what I'm about to eat for tea because I'm about to make myself some smash burgers and I'm very excited for it. I actually made some for lunch already because I just wanted to kind of, for one, I just wanted more, uh, but I had like a lot of mints and I wanted to kind of test them out and make sure they were good for tea. And they 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 went well. Oh God. Yeah, how, how was I meant to not get hit there? What, what is this, is this sensor that's screwing me here? I can't tell. I think it's sensor that's screwing me, right? Um, I, I'll go to Angel Deal again here. Very happy. We also got double Zealot Hearts. Um, bu -bu 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 yeah, do you know what? I will take on Hushy. We've got enough keys. Zealot Hearts, of course, are going to give us some Lemme Get and Wisps. I'm not exactly sure what we'll end up getting, but we'll see. We got ourselves Fred's Eye and maybe Cursed Eye here? Is that what? Looks like we got Cursed Eye. Hmm. Could be problematic. Right, let's check here. I genuinely think that Mum's Ring is the best one out of the lot there. I genuinely think that Dad's Ring is the best one out of the lot there. This is why Ordinary Life is too good. Ordinary Life is just insane. Right. Sensor's gonna screw me up, I think. I kind of need to remove Cursed Eye, like, as soon as possible. Very difficult to do, though. Is there an easy way for me to do it? Let's, let's try it out. Okay, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. We're good, we're good. We're back to normal, or sort of normal. But Revelation should be pretty good for us here. I mean, Revelation is just a great item in general. I don't really know how much damage we have, I'll be honest. I don't, like, know how quickly we're going to end up killing Hush here. It should be reasonably fast. Hush is one of those fights, like, I feel like a lot of people don't do Hush because he's, like, a bad fight. But I, I don't mind fighting him too much. I, I definitely feel like he has too much passiveness about him. Like... There's, there's too many stages of his um, of his attacks that you don't have to dodge actively, that you, that you can just kind of sit still for and not do much. But that, that's a bit of a bummer sometimes. But otherwise, I think he's a pretty fun boss. Uh, also, him going underground is also... I, I've, 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 I've said my piece about that a thousand times, but it's just stupid. <laughs> the fact that this dude can just, like, slide underground and stay there. It's just like, why? Goddamn. I always forget how, like... Sense is one of those items that in rooms, it's great. But when you're fighting a boss, it's trash. Especially a bullet hell boss, because it just creates this weird effect of um, some tiers being slowed and some not. And it kind of really throws you off. If all the tiers are slowed, or none of them are slowed, it's fine. But if only some of them are slowed, it really does some weird stuff. And, and remember as well, like, from... Uh, what the hell's going on with those tiers? From... Uh, AB plus for repentance, the way that slowing down tears uh, worked tr changed drastically. Slowing down a tier used to reduce its range. When it no longer does, it just slows down how, how quickly it gets from A to B. Before, basically what would happen is, instead of a tier having a specific range, it would more, more so have a lifespan um, in terms of like an, an amount of time that the tier would exist for. And when slowed down, the, the tiers would move a lot uh, a lot slower, thus not making it as far, but still reach its its lifespan. Still still be in the air for the expected amount of time and thus fall to the floor. Whereas now, the enemy tiers actually have oh god. Actually have a proper range stat, which complicates things, because slowing effects become much, much more um painful. Or potentially painful. Like, I don't know what the hell's going... Like, look at the amount of tears that are in front of me right now. I don't know what the hell's going on. Bit of range there, nice. This last phase seems to be taking forever. Like, I, see, I thought I got through the first bit of his health pretty quickly, but... Now it's going really slowly. Good job we have good speed here. I just don't really know what's going on with, with his tears, I'll be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we negated that tier because of Astral Projection, which is nice. 
Didn't mean to pick this up. Just stop doing your thing, you bloody idiot. Just stop doing it. Oh, really? You're going to pop another one of these on me? Is it really the time for that, dude? What hit me then? Was there some creep under me or something? And, like, look at this. Look how much millibar of health he had then. He still was able to go underground. What a little tyke. Uh, right. We're going up. Work going up i want the world to know but yeah like changes like that oh what the hell hello what are you doing here you ain't got no you ain't got your little scythe thing um that was that was very confusing for me then uh but yeah i, I think i think like changes like that are some of the things that, that, that kind of go underappreciated in repentance that people don't really think about. Oh, damn, that was actually a really important change. Like, how overpowered slowing effects used to be because of that lifespan change rather than the range that, that being in effect. That was quite a big problem, really, because it meant that any slowing effect, even stuff like Nightlight, were, like, really, really strong. And it's definitely it definitely means that, like, Nightlight and Sensor are less powerful now. And maybe even a little less powerful than they should be, especially Sensor being an angel deal. Um, but I still think it's it's a much more sensible change that overall kind of fits a little better. We only just found Isaac really quick there. We should go down very, very quickly here, I think. Because the good thing is as well, as well about uh, Kidney Stone, it automatically fires your charged things as well. So Revelation starts automatically firing too. Right for a lot of different things. Gotten a lot better at dodging Isaac's uh, beams now. Unfortunately, we're only heading into this next floor with two keys, which is... Excuse me? Did I pick up the wrong thing? That's the first time I've done that in a long time. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy nonetheless. I think I must have picked up the negative by accident. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.